sniffles and I have my fan going now I don't know what that sounds like but you have a ch it's hot today so you have a choice between noise coming in through the window or the fan sound so not important what is important is Buffalo Springfield's debut um, self-titled album from 1966 it's crazy to think that this was coming out around well same year as a revolver by the Beatles, but it is the same year. And I always place this as the 70s stuff because I do love Neil Young and Steve Stills. Um, but anyway, so as for like the physical, I want to talk about the physicality, or I think that's a word, I don't know, because this one's brilliant because it's like actual card, if you can see that. It's really stiff and sturdy. If you drop this, which happens sometimes, the record is safe because it's, you know, it's protected better than another album which I won't pull out. That's just paper. Anyway, uh, the sleeve is just a regular old sleeve. Right. Let's get it up for you. It's on the Atco label, Atco Records, which I've never heard of before, but there must be some big American label. From the 60s. Um, this is a, I know you've probably already seen, but this is a mono, I believe it's out in stereo, but it's a mastered from the original analog tapes, which is cool. So we've got Dewey Martin, Steve Stales, Richie Furey, Neil Young, and Bruce Palmer. Now, I, I've obviously I've heard of Neil Young, I've got some of his solo albums, I love him. And Steve Stills was in Stills Don't Kill Me. <laughs> oh, he was in another band, and I know he's done pretty well himself. And the other ones, I've heard of Bruce Palmer. I don't know where from, but I've definitely heard of that name before. But I haven't heard of the other two, <laughs> to be honest. But that doesn't matter. <laughs> um, I'm showing the back properly, in case I didn't. My memory's not the best. So it starts with. Go and say goodbye, which has a really great guitar riff to it, and it's just a great way to open an album. Sit down, I think I love you, is a great song. Somebody said I should keep singing in my videos, so thank you. Um, leave is great. Nowadays, can't see, can't even sing, is a great song. Thank you, thank you. Please, please, save to the end. Um, I love that, um, how they all sing on that song. I mean, it tells you, you've got Richie with Steve and Neil. I'm assuming that means the vocals. And it is great, this back bit, because it goes over what they like and what they do. And just tells you who sings. Um, Hot Dusty Roads, which is my favourite song on the album. Um, just a great song, and I can really relate to it. I believe it's about someone who's stuck in a city who would rather be out in the countryside. <laughs> I know that's a very British way to think about it, but it, it is. You know, when I go to America and see my friend Chris, they are out in the sticks, they are out in the middle of bloody nowhere, and it's brilliant. And they ride horses, they do the proper, proper Buffalo Springfield Canadian American horse riding shit. Um, everybody's wrong, closes. Uh, side one, which is great. Flying on the ground is wrong. Open side two, which is brilliant. Burned is bur la, burned is great. Um, do I have to come right out and say it? It's a really great song, and you should definitely go give that one a listen. Which I believe it's either that one or Baby Don't Scold Me. I forget, but it's got a riff. It's only for like a second or two, but it's the same riff. I swear. That's in the the next song, My Sharona. Now, obviously this comes first. I don't know whether that's right. turning that off. Um, I don't know whether that's you know they come up with it. Um, Out of My Mind is great. Out of My Mind, Pay the Price is fantastic. 
I mean, all the songs are great on this album, but <laughs> the final track, the ending track, is just brilliant for what it's worth. It has some amazing drums, some amazing guitar, and some really crisp and clean production on it, which is just fantastic. And it's a very, <laughs> it's an anti-Vietnam War song with some very pungent lyrics, which I obviously being, you know, who I am, I can't talk about it that much. You know, Vietnam is a very American, uh, it, it was an American war, you know. Britain didn't send any troops. It's, I think it sent, anyway, that's not important. Um, it's a really great song. And if you've never heard for what it's worth, you should definitely give it a listen. But overall, this is a really great album. And, you know, the band kickstarted the careers of Steve Stills and Neil Young to legendary rock artists. So you can't really complain. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. I say that every time. Take care, everyone.